this is how you create a custom panel for your game. As you can see here on the left, we have our regular panel for Godot 4, and here is my custom panel. So to get started, we're gonna have two panels or just one panel for you. Uh, we're gonna go to the theme, and we're gonna drag and drop our new or theme two. This one is going to be a default theme. If you don't know how to add that, we can just go to new resource. You uh, search up theme, add it, and you will get a theme. Uh, you can rename it to whatever you want. <laughs> In that theme, you're going to go to manage items. You might not have buttons, but that's okay. You're going to go to import items. You're going to search up panel. And as you can see, there's a lot of panel stuff, but we're going to uh, change the panel and we're going to import with data and we're just going to import selected. We're going to go here. You can see the uh, panel. We're going to close this. And now, as you can see on the right side, when we go to de uh, default 2, which is our theme, you can see panel and we can go to style, go to the style of it, and we're going to switch it with a uh, style box texture. So all of these are different types of panel boxes, but the one that we want is a custom one where we are going to be able to put an art basically. So let's go to that. Let's click it. And now what we can do is we can use our GOI, like a template, put, pop it into the texture. and. What we're going to do for the subregion is we're going to go here, and as you can see, we have auto slice selected. We're going to select this guy. We're going to close this. I've already tested this, but it, actually, we can actually do this together. So, in order to make this proper, you would think, okay, let's do it like this. However, the issue with this is that whenever this is getting sliced this way, you can now, it'll slice this part as well. So we need to actually drag this a bit further out to make sure we're in the middle and we're getting only the center. So as you can see, we're going to drag it in. Whoop. I'll edit it. Hopefully the number is right. Should be 14, uh, 14, 14, 14, 14, or 13. I don't know. 14 just to be safe. And now as you can see, we have a panel that is resizable. And the two corners here don't uh, follow, and it just resizes along that panel. All right. It on how to create a custom panel. I hope you guys uh, learned something. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely check out my channel. I have a bunch of uh, videos like this coming out. Um, subscribe and comment down below for more content like this to come out. Um, I also Discord down below that I would love if you guys joined. Uh, if not, that's totally okay. But yeah, it would totally help out. Um, I also have a Twitch that I'm trying to stream on regularly. Um, if you guys want to check that out and you need any help or something, uh, I would definitely be willing to kind of help you guys on the stream. That would be cool. Uh, so definitely check that out down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.